So we've seen in the previous uh, lecture, we have derived the response of the first order system for unit ramp input. So now we'll try to plot this curve. Okay. So first, uh, one by one, I'll plot uh, each term that is T, capital T, T into E to the power minus T by T. So for that, y axis so t this is uh, t and this is c of t so first we will plot only t so only t will be a straight line like y is equal to x something like that okay so it will be a straight line this is for t. So then we have t minus capital T. Well, capital T is a constant. It's a time co constant. It will be a constant value. So that will be, we'll take somewhere here for this value. Okay. okay. So if I take, so even this value will be capital Okay, because this is a y is equal to x curve. So, this is 45 degrees to uh, y axis. So, if this point is t, then even this point becomes t. So, now t minus capital T. So, plot for t minus capital T is, it will start from here. So parallel to t. So, this x, this is for t minus capital T. And this curve is for now we have plotted t minus capital T. Now let us plot t into e to the power minus t by t. So this is c of t time t. So e to the power minus t by t into t. So the plot for this curve is something like this. I'll just So this is the plot for, so this is, this is, this point is T, so So this is the plot for t to the power, sorry, t into e to the power minus t by capital T. So now when we combine these two, when we combine these two graph, so then we will come, we will have this response curve, p of t. So my response curve will look something like this is a simple parabolic uh, initially there will be small non-linearity later this curve becomes almost linear this is c of t this is how we will plot the C of t. So now we will find out the steady state error and then we will come back to this curve and to understand the exact steady state error. So to find out steady state error, 
e of t is equal to r of t minus c of t. R of t in this uh, system is uh, t, that is Ram function, minus c of t, where c of t is t minus capital T plus t e to the power minus t by t. So, this we will get t 1 minus e to the power minus t by capital T. This is the error that is E of t. Right. So now the steady state error, this is error signal E of t. The steady state error is limit t tends to infinity E of t. So limit t tends to infinity t into sorry. 1 minus e to the power t minus capital t by capital T. This, when I put t equal to infinity, this term becomes 0 and my steady state error will be equal to capital T. So, in the previous case, we had seen that the steady state error was t, uh, 0 in the unit step uh, response. Whereas, for unit ramp response, the steady state error is capital T. So, it is dependent on the time constant. So, now I will plot this uh, thing. So, now in this uh, C of T, this is C of T. So, we will plot R of T. So, R of T is nothing but the ramp function. So, this is it's a straight line. So, this is R of t. Now this difference this difference this vertical difference is the steady state error which is equal to capital T. So we have seen that the in previous uh, problem we couldn't actually identify any steady state error because it was zero. We couldn't differentiate. But here you can see that this is R of t. The red line is our desired response and C of t is the actual response. And between these we have a steady state error of value equal to time constant that is t. So here we can see that as we reduce the time constant we are actually reducing the steady state error. So, for smaller time constant, the steady state error will be small and the speed of the response will also increase. So, we can see that just by reducing the time constant, we can gain both the uh, advan uh, both the uh, benefits. That is, we can either, we can also make the systems fast and we can also reduce the steady state error. Thank you.